The impossible just happened in deep space, and the James Webb Space Telescope captured every second of it in stunning detail. The first interstellar object ever detected, the mysterious cigar-shaped visitor that baffled scientists back in 2017 before disappearing into the darkness beyond our solar system, just returned. And it didn't come back alone or by accident. The James Webb Telescope tracked 3i Atlas on a trajectory that brought it directly into contact with 3i Atlas in what can only be described as a deliberate rendezvous. This wasn't a random collision between two objects drifting through space. The Webb Telescope recorded both objects making active course corrections in the hours leading up to contact, adjusting their trajectories with precision that proves they were navigating toward each other intentionally. When they finally made, contact what happened next defies every prediction scientists had made. Instead of a violent impact or destructive collision, the two objects merged. 3i Atlas and Atlas physically combined into a single structure, reorganizing themselves at the molecular level in a process that took less than three minutes. The energy released during this merger was equivalent to a small nuclear detonation, yet both objects remained intact, transformed but not destroyed. And here's what has every space agency on Earth in emergency sessions. The merged object is now significantly larger, demonstrating new capabilities neither object possessed individually and heading on a trajectory that brings it even closer to Earth than Atlas's previous path. Before we break down the collision footage frame by frame and reveal what this merger created, know that what the Webb telescope captured might be the most significant event in human history. Two mysterious interstellar objects just became one. And whatever that combined entity is, it's coming our way with purpose and power we're only beginning to understand. Let's start with the biggest mystery. 3i Atlas shouldn't be anywhere near our solar system anymore. After its 2017 flyby, it accelerated away from the sun and headed back into interstellar space at speeds exceeding 58,000 datantus piets. By every calculation, it should be over 3 billion miles away from Earth by now, continuing its journey through the galaxy. Yet the James Webb Telescope detected 3.i Atlas re-entering our solar system from a completely different direction than its original departure trajectory, not just returning, but returning from the wrong angle, at the wrong velocity, in a way that suggests it didn't just turn around. It went somewhere else first, then came back deliberately, a celestial mechanics specialist analyzing the trajectory data described the impossibility. For 3i Atlas to return to our solar system, it would need to decelerate from its escape velocity, change direction, and accelerate back toward the sun. That requires propulsion capability we suspected, but never confirmed. The trajectory tells us it can navigate like a spacecraft, not drift like a comet, and it chose to come back here but the return trajectory is even more suspicious than the mere fact of return. Webb's tracking data shows 3i Atlas didn't head toward the Sun or inner planets. It headed directly toward Atlas's projected position. The course was so precise that orbital mechanics experts calculated less than a 0.01% margin of error. 3.i Atlas knew exactly where Atlas would be and when. The James Webb Telescope first detected 3ii Atlas's return approximately 18 hours before the merger event. The object appeared suddenly in Webb's field of view during a routine Atlas observation session. At first, astronomers thought it was a data artifact or equipment malfunction. Then they realized they were watching something that had been gone for years, suddenly reappearing in exactly the right place at exactly the right time. As Webb continued tracking, 3. Thy Atlas began making visible course corrections, small adjustments to trajectory, velocity changes, orientation shifts, all the behaviors that suggested active control rather than ballistic flight. And every adjustment brought it into more precise alignment with Atlas's position. Atlas, for its part, also began maneuvering. The object that had been following a relatively stable path through the inner solar system started making its own trajectory modifications. Course corrections matched 3.i Atlas's adjustments, creating a clear pattern of coordinated navigation toward a meeting point. 
A military space surveillance analyst who reviewed the tracking data made a chilling observation. This is rendezvous navigation, both objects performing coordinated maneuvers to ensure they meet at a specific point in space at a specific time. This is textbook spacecraft docking procedure, just executed at interstellar object scale. They were programmed to meet, or someone was controlling them in real time to ensure contact. The final approach took approximately six hours. Both objects closed on each other with steadily decreasing relative velocity, slowing their approach as distance shortened. This is exactly what docking spacecraft do. Initial high-speed approach, then gradual deceleration to minimize impact forces during contact. The James Webb Telescope captured the actual merger in unprecedented detail, and what the footage shows challenges our understanding of physics, material science, and what these objects actually are. At the moment of contact, both objects began emitting intense electromagnetic radiation across multiple wavelengths. The energy output spiked by a factor of several thousand in less than 10 seconds. Thermal imaging showed both objects' surface. Temperatures increasing to over 10,000 degree, hot enough to vaporize most known materials. Yet neither object showed signs of damage or degradation. An astrophysicist reviewing the merger footage described what happened. The moment they touched, both objects' surfaces became fluid, not molten like metal, but actively reorganizing at the molecular level. They didn't collide and stick together. They merged, flowing into each other like two drops of liquid combining. But this was controlled, purposeful reorganization, not random fusion. The merger process took exactly 173 seconds from first contact to complete integration. During those seconds, the Webb telescope recorded both objects reshaping themselves, extending appendages toward each other, interweaving structures in ways that looked almost biological, despite clearly being technological in nature. The visual data is surreal. Sections of 3i Atlas's elongated cigar shape extended and flattened, wrapping around portions of Atlas. Atlas's irregular surface developed protrusions that interlocked with 3i Atlas's transformed structure. The two objects didn't just touch, they wove themselves together into a single unified entity. The energy released during this process was tremendous. Webb's instruments detected gamma ray bursts, X-ray emissions, and intense magnetic field fluctuations. The electromagnetic pulse from the merger temporarily disrupted satellite communications across Earth's near-space environment. Yet despite this enormous energy output, both objects remained structurally intact throughout the transformation. When the merger completed after those 173 seconds, the resulting combined object had geometry unlike either original object, not a simple combination of two shapes, but an entirely new configuration that suggested the merger was designed to create this specific resulting structure. The merged object is approximately 40% larger than Atlas was alone, with a more symmetrical, almost crystalline structure. Multiple observers have noted it looks less like a random space rock and more like a deliberately engineered platform or vessel. The surface displays regular geometric patterns, precise angles, and what appears to be deliberate segmentation into distinct sections with different properties. Most remarkably, the merged object immediately began displaying capabilities neither object had shown previously. Within minutes of merger completion, the combined entity emitted a powerful, tightly focused energy beam, similar to the beam Atlas had fired at Earth earlier, but significantly more powerful and sustained. This beam lasted over three minutes and, targeted a specific region of space, transmitting what appeared to be complex data packages. Analysis of the merged object reveals capabilities that individually neither 3i Atlas nor Atlas demonstrated before combining. It's as if the merger unlocked or activated systems that required both objects to function. The propulsion signature has changed dramatically. Before the merger, Atlas showed propulsion capabilities far beyond natural phenomena, but still within theoretical frameworks. The merged object displays thrust profiles that suggest even more advanced systems, possibly multiple propulsion types operating simultaneously. A propulsion engineer analyzing Webb's data described the advancement. The merged object is generating thrust 
that appears to combine whatever systems Atlas was using with something new. We're seeing energy signatures consistent with both matter-antimatter reactions and what might be space-time manipulation drives operating together. It's like watching a hybrid engine using multiple exotic physics principles at once. The energy generation capacity has also increased beyond simple addition. If you combined three Pui atlases and atlases' individual power outputs, you'd expect maybe 150 to 200% of atlases' previous capability. Instead, the merged object is generating power levels exceeding 500% of what Atlas showed before the merger. This suggests synergistic systems, components that work together to exceed the sum of their parts. The communication capabilities are particularly concerning. The merged object is broadcasting on frequencies and using modulation techniques that neither object used individually.